Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and today I'm here to talk to you about limited liability companies and 1099s. This is part of the 1099 video series offered by the resourceful CEO. That's me. And here I am, so this is not just another faceless presentation. All LLCs must file 1099s for independent contractors to whom it paid $600 or more during the prior calendar year. Here's a picture of a 1099 miscellaneous form, which is the form that goes out to independent contractors. In addition, if you are operating as an LLC, you must receive 1099s for any services that you provided for which you received $600 or more in the prior tax year. And this applies for all LLCs, regardless of whether the LLC files as a corporation, a partnership, or as a sole proprietorship. Companies provide you with significant asset protection. It allows you to shield your personal assets from your business assets. So if you were to be sued or to enter into a contract dispute that you lose or have an employee um, file a discrimination suit against your company, whatever the reason may be that would result in your company needing to pay out damages, you would not personally be liable for those damages by forming, um, if you're operating under an LLC structure. Laws recognize LLCs as entities completely separate from you as the owner. To form an LLC, you need to file at the state level. You file articles of organization with the Secretary of State. If you follow Single member LLCs have a default tax filing status as a sole proprietorship. In the past, the IRS referred to this as a disregarded entity, but now they just say that you must file as a sole proprietorship. You can also elect to file as a corporation by submitting Form 8832 to the IRS. As a multi-member LLC, meaning there's multiple owners, then you can your automatic default status is filing as a partnership. However, you can also elect to file as a corporation by submitting Form 8832. When you file your taxes as an LLC, if you are if you are defaulting to, to a sole proprietorship, then you must include Schedule C, or in some cases, Schedule E on your Form 1040 of your personal tax return. If you are filing as a partnership, then you file Form 1065. If you're filing as a corporation, you file Form 1120. The point is that your status, your tax filing status, has absolutely no bearing on whether or not you receive or send out 1099s to an LLC. So if you are operating as an LLC, you must receive 1099s if you, if you were paid $600 or more for services provided. And if you are employing a or engaging in business with another LLC, 
and you pay them $600 or more, you must send them a 1099. It doesn't matter what their tax filing status is. One note is that corporations have a higher administrative and reporting requirements, so the IRS exempts corporations, but the federal government is what governed, or this, this, excuse me, federal and state governments govern the admin and reporting requirements for corporations, not the IRS. That is why the filing status does not matter with regards to LLCs adopting the corporate uh, um, filing status. Again, your LLC must mail 1099s to all applicable businesses and individuals who, to whom you paid $600 or more. This is Form 1099 Miscellaneous. And if you need more information about, about this form, then please check out our prior presentation, What Entity Gets 1099s? In addition to 1099 miscellaneous, which is what most people are familiar with, there are 1099Bs, which if you engaged in barter transactions with another business in the amount of $600 or more, then you need to submit, um, you need to send them a 1099B. The same thing applies to 1099Cs, which are for canceled debt. So if you canceled the debt of any entity in which you had a um, debt relationship with, then you would need to send them a 1099C. There are additional 1099s, but the usage is rare. So please just check with the IRS if you do have, if you think you have situations which may require other 1099s. Here is a W-9 form. This is the request for taxpayer identification number and certification. This form is key to sending out and receiving 1099s. It, it provides the information that forms the basis for completing a 1099. It asks for your EIN, the legal business name, address, and in this section, you certify or whomever signs this form is certifying that all the information above is true and correct to the best of their knowledge and they're also certifying that they have the um, the authority to sign on behalf of the company and this is important to send out as soon as you either if you're the llc as soon as you sign a contract for services of six hundred dollars or more then you should receive a W-9. Same thing applies if you are requesting services from a service provider in excess of $600, then as soon as you sign the contract or they sign the contract, then you should send them a W-9 for them to complete. If you wait until the end of the tax year to request this information, you may not have the information in time for you to file your 1099s. As an LLC, you will need to include the revenue that is denoted in the 1099s you receive in your tax return. So for those of you who keep very good records, for instance, you use QuickBooks, this is not a concern because QuickBooks tracks all the payments that you receive or all the contracts you enter into if you have a good accountant or, or bookkeeper. So it's, this is just additional record keeping for you. However, for those of you who don't keep very good records, if you omit some of your, um, some of the payments you receive, 
you have to make sure that you do not omit the payments that you receive that are recorded on 1099s because the IRS double checks the 1099s in its database against your tax returns and it looks for discrepancies. It's just, it basically treats your 1099s the same way it treats W-2s. It looks at what's the what the company that paid you reported versus what you're reporting. And so if you are under reporting your income, then you are subject, your LLC will be subject to penalties and fees for under reporting. In addition, you must attach your 1099s to your tax returns if you are filing as a, a sole proprietorship or as a partnership. If you're filing as a corporation, you do not have to attach the 1099s. For additional videos, check out the Resourceful CEO channel. Better yet, subscribe. For additional information on LLCs and 1099s, please go to the resourcefulceo.com and search on LLCs or 1099s or both. I am Tiffany C. Wright, the Resourceful CEO. Thank you for joining me and if you'd like to schedule a meeting to discuss your situation, please go to the resourcefulceo.com forward slash schedule and complete the form.